Good evening, my dear NEET warriors. Uh, many students were commenting on our videos saying that, Sir, I am little bit late. I have uh, lost hope and my marks are not that great in NEET 2024 either. And uh, some of you are even freshers. Give me a realistic answer. Is it possible to crack NEET in the next five to six months? And I am going to give the answer, but only to those students who are willing to listen, who are willing to implement, who are planning to actually put in the hard work and not just watch this video for the sake of this. So my dear warriors, quickly like this video and make sure you are subscribed onto the Vedantu Need English channel. This is your Captain Shreyas, your physics master teacher. And I have been training kids for more than 13 years and sending kids to the top notch colleges, whatever it be. And, you know, I take extreme pride in sending not the toppers, but actually the average students being made as the toppers. And that is where the real challenge is. So if you are maybe average or below average, then maybe whatever I'm going to say throughout this video is going to make a lot of sense. And honestly, tell me, you might be feeling like a zero. I mean, that is the worst thing that you can feel, right? You can't feel negative. Below zero, there is nothing. You have some time and you obviously dream about becoming a doctor. You obviously dream about treating patients. You obviously dream about becoming a surgeon. You obviously dream to do something well in your life in the medical field to make your parents proud, your teachers proud. You want to earn. You want to do so many things. All your ambitions are there. And the bottleneck, the hurdle is neat. And maybe the hurdle is not even neat. Maybe it could be a subject. Maybe it could be two subjects, maybe it could be not even the subjects, maybe it is the desire, the preparation, how to approach, sir, okay, fine, I don't like a subject, but I know I have to clear this exam, so I will prepare for it. How do I exactly do this? That is the main concern, right? And you all want to go from the zero to hero level. Agree or disagree? Nobody is a hero. Nobody is a born hero. Heroes are made. Heroes are not born. Heroes are always made and they take time. And do we have time to answer your question? Yes, definitely. Farida, you have time. Hi, Satya. Hi, Fala. Yes, you definitely have. Hi, Rakshana. We have, we have time and we can do it. We can do it. I'll tell you how. First of all, let me tell you what is our target, what is our safe score and what is the bare minimum score that one should get. Maybe some of you might have some kind of reservation or maybe you are okay with some private college. So there is a bare minimum thing that you can be okay with to become a doctor without spending crores of rupees. So to tell you, obviously our target is 720. You might be wondering why? Because this year you saw a lot of students are getting above 700. So if you want aims, you have to target something higher. No hero is made by targeting. I will only, you know, destroy two villains. The hero always targets. I will destroy 100 villains. Maybe he will destroy 50, but the target is always high. So the target is 720. On the safer side, to get a government seat, 650 this year. And for a private seat, 550. These are the bare minimum targets. Is this agreed? Everyone? Okay. Fair enough, sir. Now, what is the timeline that we have? Starting from November, December, January, February, March, April, Barely five to six months. I mean, just take five months. It's less than six actually. What you need to do? Say for example, you are at 300. Maybe in need 2024. Or maybe in your mock tests or class tests. You want to reach 700 plus. So that's a jump of 400 marks. But these 400 marks will not come in these six months. They have to come in the first four months worth of preparation. Because after that, comes a revision. That means in four months, you have to get 400 marks. So per month, you need 100 marks. Per month, you are going to need 100 marks. And per week, you will need approximately 25 marks, give or take here and there. And per day, you will need roughly four marks. Every day that you spend, you should feel that you have at least learned worth four marks, not subject wise, but in the paper, because what you might study might not exactly come in the exam. It might be more, it might be less. 
so you should feel that confidence that yes my day is fulfilled when i sleep you should be at peace that yes i have studied worth 4 marks in the paper my 4 marks are secured that mental peace you should get before sleeping if you are not getting then you are not true to yourself you are not focused towards your dream in fact every day that you don't spend studying worth 4 marks you are losing those 4 marks remember in your final exam may 5th 2025 already 4 marks you are losing every day from now on after watching this video you should feel guilty about it you can either punish yourself for losing those 4 marks or if you have done exceptionally well yes sir today i feel accomplished i feel that i have studied worth 4 marks you can also reward yourself what do i mean by punish and reward say you don't study properly one day next day maybe you can say okay i'm not going to eat my food till this much time you can say that or you can reward yourself saying okay because i completed today all these things okay so today i'm going to talk to my friend for five minutes or maybe i'm going to eat a chocolate or maybe i'm going to just relax for more time whatever but you can reward or punish yourself accordingly it works like wonders but without reward without punish nobody is motivated i will come over here because obviously i have to improve your marks i have something to achieve i have to improve your marks right without that why would i come here self discipline obviously matters without that self discipline nobody is going to keep a check on you oh you are sitting in the room but are you actually studying matters a lot are you actually thinking about studies maybe your mind is somewhere else so guys self discipline matters or else you might be sitting in front of the book but maybe you are not studying worth 4 marks so please get that self discipline habit because you are going to be in one of the most noble professions in the entire world in the entire universe being a doctor is not a joke so you need that from right now it will not come later on it has to be cultivated over a period of time talking about when should you complete your syllabus versus revision ideal time february don't push it beyond that by february yes 11th as well as 12th portions should be done that's a decent four months and it is possible i'll tell you how also because after that you need revision without revision it is impossible to you know master something just imagine something what you have studied in 11th you have forgotten something what you studied last month you won't remember so that's why revision is important so don't say no to revision but revision strategy will come later on first let's complete the syllabus how to complete the syllabus start with fundamental and basic chapters like for example in physics basic maths in maybe physical chemistry mole concept all those things in uh, organic chemistry goc obviously iupac nomenclature all those things periodic properties so these things are obviously needed classification for botany and zoology without these things you will not be able to proceed maybe cell unit of life all these things needed do those first after that there will be high weightage independent or dependent chapters but they take long time for example in physics rotation electromagnetic induction takes more more time so do those first don't go for the easy ones don't go for the short ones the long and high weightage then go to high weightage and short ones like for example gravitation units and dimensions 100% it will come it's not a long chapter but you know it is high weightage so those chapters need to be completed then go to the low weightage maybe fluids you are doing some random chapters here and there so those low weightage towards the end maybe in february or january you are doing that but main thing this november december jan maximum these two things should be done when you are doing these chapters make sure obviously you are targeting february as the completion date 15 chapters you will have to do approximately per month which means per chapter you will get around two days some chapters will take three days some chapters will take one day can you do should you be like sir now when i'm studying one chapter i should not study another subject no you can do one thing you are studying two chapters of different subjects at the same time within four days you can complete two subjects parallelly that's possible so you can go parallelly but average run rate will be two days per chapter also you need to give the class test without that you cannot judge where you stand yes without that you cannot judge 
where you stand. So do not skip the classes. Many of you do that because you are not prepared. So when you do these things, when you are doing a chapter properly, you have to give the test. There are different ways in which you can give a test. Either you are already a part of some test series like in DNA batch or you have enrolled into the NCRT year long test series where you again get the test papers topic wise. Third option, you already have the DNA batch and in that you have the option of creating your own test. Unlimited test creator is there so you can test yourself accordingly. All right. Sir, how many more uh, questions should I solve? Two to three questions of each model. Every model should be covered. Model means which model? Like, okay, for example, range of a projectile. I have solved three questions. Okay, height of a projectile, two, three questions. Okay, equation of trajectory, two, three questions. So that is what I mean. When you do two, three models, then you will feel satisfied. Sir, should I complete the entire exercise? No. In fact, even if you do 30% of the complete exercise, whatever you have, I'm okay with it. It is okay. The remaining 70% easily, you can do it in a very fast way during the revision after February. Trust me, that time you'll have more time and you will have speed plus you have that knowledge. So even if you do 30 to 50%, it's perfectly fine. Don't curse or feel guilty. And worst part, don't waste your time making notes. Because a lot of students are like, sir, I'm downloading this notes. I'm making this notes too much time. Don't waste too much time on theory, theory, theory. Don't waste too much time on notes, notes, notes. Rather, you can use things like these flashcards, which will help you in making those notes very quickly. In fact, the notes are ready made for all the subjects. Links are there in the description box. Okay, so be smart, save your time. Nobody is going to ask you when you qualify need. Oh, did you make your handwritten notes or did you use flashcards? It doesn't matter. I got 700. Who cares? That's all. Always start with easy questions. Go to multiple concept questions. Then go to PYQs. Then go to hard questions. Never jump to PYQs first. This is very important. Many people directly go to these things or these things or these things. They feel if I do hard, then I can solve easy. Wrong. If you solve easy, then you can solve PYQ. Then you can solve hard. This is the flow in which you are going to solve the questions every time. Now, another common mistake which I have seen many students doing, they watch motivational classes, they get motivated. Yes, yes, yes. Their energy, their studying pattern, everything goes up. Then it will go down within 2-3 days. And they will get depressed and again they will watch a motivation class. It happened with me also, it will happen with you also. Next time you will not solve same questions. It will be slightly less though you will go up. Again it will go down. Next time your energy won't go, not go so much up. Hardly anything. And after a point, you will understand just taking motivation is of no use and you already know what is the substitute for motivation. It is always consistency. Every day making a plan and studying and following that without any motivation also. Trust me that consistency is what is going to beat that motivation. You need that self-discipline every day. And many people do not know this or rather fail to implement this. Please try to implement and you will see the difference. And please say no to social media like Instagram, Facebook. Please uninstall. What is the use? You, you think some YouTuber, even I might be making reels, but fine, those are for those students who are on Instagram and have control or for those students who are on Instagram and making them tell, hey, listen, study, please. Okay. So say no to social media. You're not going to learn anything extra, not politics, not any random entertainment. TV, obviously not needed. Your gaming, playtime, sports, try to reduce it or try to eliminate it as much as possible. Social gatherings, parties, some wedding, event, that, this, not needed. You can say no. Nobody is going to say, uh, oh, I'm not going to talk to you your whole life because you didn't come for this wedding. Fine. Be it. I wanted to become a doctor. I became a doctor. Now I can attend all the functions. Please don't excessively sleep. Six hours, good enough. Seven hours, decent enough. Beyond that, I think you are taking away your study time. But don't sleep too less like three or four hours. That is also bad for your health. So my dear warriors, it's very simple. I have given you the mantras. But I want to make more videos on which topics to study. What is the correct order? Which topics can be studied together? And, you know, maybe some other strategies, right? Which might help you with... Uh, the entire preparation for the next couple of months. If you want me to give more such videos, make sure you comment starting now so that I can see you're serious and I can put in that effort because it takes some time. And 
please make sure you like this video and share it with all the future doctors and the neat aspirants because obviously it's going to help them. Okay. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Please don't just comment. Start now. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.